Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Hopefully after yesterday's recording we can, um, push past that double forfeit. Um, that was not a good day for battling. I don't know what happened there, but we got totally wrecked. Um, yeah, so our opponent today is bringing Mawile, Garchomp, Salamence, Bisharp, Meow Stick, and Blossom? <laughs> That's an interesting Pokemon, but I am not going to uh, just completely disregard it. Uh, so I think our best bet might actually be Heatran Blastoise. Um, they cover literally everything but that Meow Stick, but Sans Swagger Spam, we can handle that Meow Stick regardless. Um, so what does that leave us? A little high and dry against um you know we do have those dragons so i'm gonna bring aromatis uh double dragons oh but he also also has double steel uh that means i bring cresselia but i have to be really careful about that bisharp um and speaking of that bisharp i'll probably bring amongus if he does bring the bisharp you know we, we don't know for certain what he will bring what he won't bring what might happen what may not happen I don't know yet so we'll have to see but um Bisharp does do a lot of damage to our team um, so it's gonna be one of those things that we're gonna have to be very careful about now he does start off with Meowstic and Salamence uh, not a bad lead but not a great lead. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he plans on doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for that Heat Wave. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Ice Beam the Salamence. Now before I confirm that, is that a good option? Now Salamence can get Earthquake. Will he go for Earthquake? That is the question. And I want to say he won't. So I... I'm going to go for it. Salamences tend to not carry Earthquake, so I don't really see it coming. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, 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 um, but it will be spread out throughout his entire team, so, ooh, but that is a problem, I did not think of that, um, oh no, he just goes for Draco Meteor, as long as he's not Specs, I should survive that, as long as he's not Specs, definitely not Specs, I think even Specs I would have survived that, um, so let's see how well he takes this behind a light screen. Not well at all. Was that a crit? That was not even a crit. Oh my lord, that's awesome. Oh man, suck it, Salamence. Uh, and you don't... Oh, that was a crit. That was... Yep, that was definitely a crit. I was gonna say, wow, the power! But no, that, that crit definitely mattered. Um, I can't say how much it mattered, because it probably didn't matter, like, a whole heap amounts, but... Probably mattered. It probably mattered. Um, so in comes Garchomp, which is definitely going to rock that Earthquake on me. Um, and Mawile, which I need to keep the Heatran alive for. So, um, I think my best bet right here would be to double switch Cresselia for Heatran and Amoongus for Blastoise. Um, I can't really go for Trick Room just yet because we do have that Mawile there, and that Mawile will give us a problem. Um... But if I play this right, because he should protect this turn. Oh, he should protect this turn. Well, you know what? I, di I didn't want to take an Earthquake, unf like, without reason. Um, so we'll see. If he doesn't protect this turn, that'd be kind of odd. Because uh, he's probably going to go for an Earthquake. He does go for Protect, so he's probably going for an Earthquake here. Uh, which means I will get a very solid... Um, I, should I should take that EQ very well with my Amoongus. We'll see. I should take it very well, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely very good. Um, so now I'm just gonna spam Moonblast onto the Garchomp. I don't think he's gonna see that coming, and I'm gonna spore the Mawile. Um, Dragon Claw. Okay, so he doesn't Sucker Punch. Um, he does go for the Amoongus, though. That's not terrible. We do get the Moonblast off. As long as he doesn't take out my Amoongus, please don't take- Okay, you went- Oh! Good! Okay, good. Good, 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 Why are you going for Rock Slide, though? That's gonna do very little damage. Yeah. Okay. 
odd choice. Um, I could put the Garchomp to sleep, too. Um, nah, I think I'm just going to continue on with this uh, Moonblast. And I'm going to Giga Drain him. Because I don't need the Amoongus alive. Uh, I just need enough time. Oh my god, why are you spamming Rock Slide? Oh my god, that's not going to do any damage. It's so stupid. You're literally doing that just so you can get flinches. I hate people who do that. Because I can assure you that, you know, you're, you're not going to do enough damage to take me out. And you could pro you probably would have taken out my Amoongus that turn, by the way. Just so you know. You probably would have taken me out there. But hey, don't don't take my word for it. You know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and you have Protect. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. That's fine. I have an idea. Yeah, because he's probably going to um, Sucker Punch. And then Dragon Claw or something like that. Oh, that's why I'm not doing that much damage. Alright, so I'm going to go for Trick Room just in case he wakes up. And um, Spore on the Garchomp. Yep, he does wake up. He does go for Sucker Punch. It doesn't matter. He does go for Dragon Claw on the Amoongus, and I'm fine with that. I should survive. I don't survive. It's not good, actually. Um, that is not good. Um, actually, no, that's perfectly fine. I can bring in Heatran here. Um, he's going to Sucker Punch the Cresselia. I wonder if I have enough HP. Um, is he going to Sucker Punch? You know what? I don't think he will. Uh, I'm going to go for that and Earth Power on the Mawile. Um, he does Sucker Punch. I don't think that should take me out. Oh, crit! No! Oh, that's actually not that bad. Actually, wait, no, that's not that bad because I went for Earth Power. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's not bad at all because I still have the Blastoise. Um, and he can only protect for one turn. Not bad. I'll take it. So I, I, I definitely will die with this with this um, attack. Uh, but that's that should still work out in my favor, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't think he had another Pokemon in the back. I don't think so. No, because I took out his two leads. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to Ice Beam. I, I have two turns left of this Trick Room, at, at the very least. So... If he gets lucky and gets a double protect, that sucks. Um, I should have, I you know, I saw that that uh, that sucker punch coming. Um, I had an inkling to go for yes, okay. I had an inkling to go for um, helping hand and then heat wave because heat wave would have taken out the Garchomp as well. I should have gone for that, but I was just weary of missing because had I missed the heat wave, I would have definitely lost that game. So it was definitely important. Um, although, he didn't protect with the Mawile. I guess he figured it would go down. Um, so maybe that would have been a better choice. That might have been a better choice. Either way, I still won, so it's not that bad. I just like to go over the battles and see maybe how we could have done better. Uh, it's a good way to kind of think about how to battle and get better at battling. If you can pick apart a battle and see what you did wrong and then kind of go back in and say like well if I did this a little bit better you know maybe I could have come out with a 3-0 instead of a 1-0 um, a and like maybe there's like a 30% chance I'd lose you know so I, I think it's a good idea to do that because you know not only would maybe the earthquake not have taken us out um, he would have had the the Mawile probably, well, it wasn't at full HP. I, I do think that that was the best course of action. Because um, really, his victory depended on a 30% chance of Protect not failing. So we were definitely in the good good spot there. And then even on top of that, oh, well, no, Protect resets. Okay, whatever. Uh, so my opponent is bringing Gengar, Heatran, Gardevoir, um, Thunderous, Landorus, and Terrakion. Uh... Blastoise is a pretty solid lead. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that right now. The only thing is that Thunderous. Um, I do want to bring Cresselia as another lead because Cresselia will will be pretty useful against these guys. Um, I think Rhydon's gonna be very useful 
and um, yeah, because like he's got a lot of things that Rhydon resists. Um, and I'm thinking maybe Heatran. I mean, he does have the Landorus, so that kind of sways me not to go for that. Um, I think maybe. What would I use Heatran for? Just to hit hard, really, because um, I don't really have anything to hit that cr that uh, Gardevoir or that Gengar. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bring Heatran. Um, I don't think Aromatis. As long as I have Cresselia, I'm not too worried about the Tarakion. I don't think he's gonna bring the Tarakion. I mean, I have so many things to hit it super effectively, so I don't think he will bring it. I'm clearly Trick Room. <laughs> Um, but he could run Trick Room. He has two potential setters. Not that he's gonna. Not that his team warrants Trick Room. Um, but I know some people like run Trick Room and like imprison or Trick Room just to be Trick Room. Um, I know like back in 13 when I was reading, because I, I didn't start participating in VGC until um, the 2014 season, and that was like when it was actually in 2014. I didn't actually start until 2014. Um, but I was reading articles to sort of like get my myself, you know, understanding of the metagame, and a lot of people ran Trick Room Cresselia to seem seemingly to stop teams that actually relied on Trick Room, if that makes sense. So like, they'd see a Cresselia, they'd go, okay, this team's clearly gonna be rocking Trick Room. I'm just gonna switch that up and go for Trick Room myself. Catch my drift? Cool. Um, so we got this Gengar and this Landorus now. Gengar can hit me super effectively, uh, but I don't know if he's actually going to. Uh, I'm just going to stay in, I'm going to Ice Beam, um, and I'm going to Trick Room. I think that's my best play. I don't think any of these these two get Taunt. If they do, then ooh, it sucks, but even if they do, I should take at least two Shadow Balls, at the very least. I, I don't think even Choice Specs, me oh, it could be Mega. Uh, well, if it's Mega, then I get the Trick Room up, but I don't know if I survive. If my Aromatisse survives Mega Sludge Bomb, my my Cresselia can survive a Shadow Ball. I, that's sound logic, right? Aromatisse has less bases, base special defense and stuff like that. Not as much investment either. Just enough to survive, so I think that's, that's very grounded. But he is going to go for a Rock Slide like a jerk. Uh, so hopefully we don't flinch, because that's going to be really, really, really unfortunate. Um, we do take that very well. We don't get flinched with the Blastoise, so that's that's good so far. Um, he, he just gets KO'd right away. Really should have gone for Earthquake, because that would have done a lot more. And it wouldn't have put him in a position where now he's Trick Room. Well, I mean, it w he still would have been, still would have been Trick Roomed, but would have hit my Blastoise so much harder. But I can't switch out, which isn't a terrible thing. It depends on what he sends in. It's going to be the Heatran. Um, I'm going to assume double protect. Not really much that I can do against that. Um, but I'm just going to hit them both with my super effective attacks. Both stab. They should both go down. Um, although, maybe Heatran could survive. I'm not entirely sure. It's not four times weak. Um, but Blastoise is definitely one of the strongest special attackers in the game. Um, a lot of people say it's bad, but there's not a single move. Well, there's there's like maybe five Pokemon. All you have to use Thunder, and all that's the only things that can one hit KO Blast Mega Blastoise. You know that's not bad. That's really not bad. Um, he doesn't protect the Gengar though, so this should take him out. Oh, or not? Um, who are you attacking? You're gonna Shadow Ball probably the Cresselia. I'm fi oh. Blastoise. Wow, I take that like a champ. Look at that. That's a that that's that's a stab, probably max special attack, jolly nate or jolly timid nature Gengar Shadow Ball. That's pretty ridiculous. That did nothing. Um, but that that kind of sealed his fate because now I can just kind of psy shock the Gengar. Um, he's probably gonna switch out the Heatran. That would be pretty smart actually. Nah, it doesn't really matter. I'll still do damage. I'll still do good damage. Um, as long as I'm not going for Aura Sphere and he switches into Gardevoir, I'll still do pretty pretty solid damage. Um, he's going to withdraw the Gengar instead, so he's staying in with the Heatran um, into the Thunderous. Not a shabby idea, but this should still take you out. Or uh, not take you out, you know what I mean. I still have one more turn left to Trick Room. 
Um, and that just totally obliterates the Heatran. Not shabby, not in the least. Um, now, I know these things get Prankster, but I don't think it's going to run Protect. So we still have a turn left. I'm going to Ice Beam the Thunderous, and I'm going to Psy Shock the Gengar. We'll see what he does. He's probably going to Thunder Wave us because he doesn't really have much else of a choice. That's what I'm assuming. I think that's a safe bet. Betting it all here. Psy Shock Gengar, Ice Beam Thunderous. Uh, and it still doesn't matter because I have Rhydon and Heatran in the back, so I'm in a really solid position. Even if he, like, somehow takes out both my guys this turn. Um, and he actually goes for Cresselia, which is fine by me. <sighs> a little unfortunate that I get paralyzed. But, ooh, Yachi. Because mm. the Gengar definitely would have gone down that turn. 100%. See, that, that's the unfortunate... Oh! <laughs> wow, we survived, and we still have Trick Room. That's actually kind of freaking awesome. Um, so we basically just kind of have... I have to assume that the Gengar doesn't have anything for my Rhydon. He's going to paralyze me, and if he gets this Parahax, I'm going to be so upset. I mean, I do still have a backup plan, so it's not the end of the world. Um, no, so we do get the Gengar out, so if we don't attack with the Blastoise, it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, because... No, and we attack, so we we manage through the hacks, we get a 4-0, hallelujah, better than those uh, forfeits the other day. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and uh, well, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.